Girl, it looks like Diddy's Rico charges aren't the only things that Jay-Z needs to be worried about because Chris Brown just exposed him in the wildest way that you can ever imagine. Over the past couple of years, there have been multiple allegations of how Jay-Z allegedly derails the career of artists and Chris Brown is stepping up to confirm the allegations, claiming that Jay-Z allegedly had him blackballed because of Rihanna. And it's not for the reason you think. Chris is also speaking out about that 2009 incident between him and Rihanna and he is finally telling his side of the story. According to Chris, Rihanna had been cheating on him with Jay-Z and had also allegedly given him an STI that she had gotten from Jay-Z. If you think that's bad enough, well, you might want to sit down for the rest of this tea because Chris has some of the wildest, sickest stories to tell about what really happened between Rihanna and Jay-Z. Uh, did he really accuse Clive Davis and other industry giants of helping Jay-Z take him down? Let's break it down. Chris Brown is sick and tired of y'all running narratives about him for the past 15 years. And he is finally coming out to set the record straight about what really happened between him and Rihanna back in 2009 and how Jay-Z set him up and then capitalized on that to ruin his career. Now y'all probably know all about the 2009 incident with these two that happened when they got into a fight in the car the night before the Grammys. Chris put hands on her and she ended up with severe bruises on her face and body. Chris was arrested and was sentenced to five years of probation and one year of DV counseling. Over the years, he has seemingly admitted his guilt in the situation and has stuck to the story that he was put out by Rihanna and her team about how the argument started because she found out that he was cheating on her, which caused her to start hitting him, but he overreacted and punched her over and over. In an interview, Rihanna said, I caught him in a lie and he wouldn't tell the truth and I wouldn't drop it. I couldn't take that he kept lying to me and he couldn't take that I wouldn't drop it. It escalated into him being violent towards me and it was ugly. I was battered, I was bleeding, I was swollen in my face. She also admitted that the relationship was super toxic, saying the more in love we became, the more dangerous we became for each other, equally dangerous, because it was a bit of an obsession. For the longest time, Chris also went along with this version of events, claiming that he had lost his mind when Rihanna caught him cheating. I told her that she didn't trust me with anything. So I would, let, I would give her the option of, oh, you can look at my phone. So I gave her the phone. She looks at the phone and there's a message and it says, kill the Grammys, do your thing. Um, and I didn't read the rest of the message, I didn't open it. So she opened the message and the rest of the message said, I'll see you at the cloud party. So all thought she thought I was lying. She starts going off, she throws the phone, I hate you, whatever, whatever. Starts hitting me, we're in a little Lamborghini. You know, she's fighting me and I'm like, look, I'm telling you the truth, I swear to God. You know, I'm telling you the truth, stop it. Those fists, like I punched her. You know, and it uh, busted her lip. And when I saw it, I was in shock. I was like, why the hell did I hit her like? So from there, she's just spitting my face, like spit the blood in my face and I'm like, Yo, so it raised me even more. Like, it's a real long fight in a car. We drive in the street. So I'm like, yo, man, y'all, we tripping. Like, what the f Like, what are we doing? She's trying to grab for my phone, and I'm not getting, giving her my phone to throw it out of the window. So she grabs my nuts. And when she, when she do that, I actually, I bite, her, I bite her arm, I think, as I'm driving, because I'm still trying to drive. And it's just, it's just like a petty, like stupid fight. But over the years, he has started to fight back to try to change the narrative around him, hinting that there was more to the story than people knew. For example, when Chloe Bailey worked with Chris Brown on her song, How Does It Feel? She received a lot of hate for it and fans called her out for it. This made Chris so upset that he went on a rant saying, if y'all still hate me for a mistake I made as a 17 year old, please kiss my whole entire ASS. I'm effing 33. I'm so tired of y'all running with this narrative. You weird people are the same ones that tune in every week to see Blueface and Krishan beat the F out of each other in front of the world. But that's okay. It's entertainment. All y'all can suck my D disrespectfully. He continued, where are the cancel culture with these white artists that dates young women, beat the F out of their wives, giving women AIDS? Oh, that's right. They are your buddies. No more fake love for me. Stay out my way or get ran over simple as that. None of you, and I mean none of you guys, can F with me. This last part is interesting because as it turns out, he was throwing some shade at a very specific somebody who has been alleged to have been intimate with many young women in the industry and is married to a woman who is way younger than he is. In case y'all haven't figured it out, he was referring to Jay-Z. For one, Jay-Z is 12 years older than Beyonce, and even though he insists that she was 18 or 19 when they started dating, that didn't really add up. In a 2007 interview with Charlie Rose, Jay-Z mentioned meeting Beyonce 10 years ago, placing their first encounter 
1997. Now, if we do the math, Beyonce would have been just 16 years old at the time. Child, dependent on the exact timing, she could have even been 15 while he was in his late 20s. But apart from Beyonce, there are also allegations that he was intimate with Lil' Kim when she was 15. And again, he was in his 20s. So when Chris was talking about men who sleep with younger women, he was allegedly referring to Jay-Z. The really interesting part is when he talked about those men giving women STDs. Because from the story that Chris is now telling, Jay-Z allegedly had an affair with Rihanna while she was dating Chris. Not only that, but he allegedly gave Rihanna herpes, which she gave Chris. According to him, he found out on the night of the fight that she was cheating on him with Jay-Z, and also about the herpes. And that's the real reason that he lost his mind and put his hands on her. This is an interesting development, especially because there have been rumors for a long time that Jay-Z and Rihanna were involved in one way or another. The rumors were everywhere in the late 2000s and early 2010s, but Rihanna always denied that she was intimately involved with Jay-Z, saying that it was all about the music. Her publicist at the time even took responsibility for spreading the fake news, claiming as he did it as a way to push Rihanna's career. He said, the PR stunt that I did was out of desperation to help break Ponder Replay. He wrote, it was reckless and I didn't think it was going to work. I was just throwing spaghetti at the wall to see what would stick. I didn't think it would be this big story, but now knowing that people are profiting from speculations and opinions about her really turns my stomach. I'm ashamed that I'm even talking about this. I just want to put this rumor to rest once and for all. But Chris is now claiming that this is all BS because it's nothing but a cover up because both Jay-Z and Rihanna were going over and beyond to kill the rumors of an affair because of how bad it would be for them. Even worse, Chris is also claiming that Jay-Z allegedly forced him to go ahead with the narrative that they spread of how he was the one cheating on Rihanna, even though she was the one cheating on him. Allegedly, Jay-Z didn't want the public to know that Rihanna had allegedly been stepping out on Chris because it would have led to fans to wonder who she had been cheating with and that would have led straight back to Jay-Z and he didn't want that to happen. Child, this is a lot to unpack and I'm not gonna lie, it sounds kind of hard to believe because it just sounds like Chris is trying to fix his image. But Jaguar right backed him up on this and y'all know that Jaguar has never been sued or caught in a lie just yet. So y'all can take her word to the bank. You know what I'm saying? I don't understand why people keep talking about that. It was forever ago. They were both very young and he had just had his first herpes outbreak from her giving him the herpes. Ooh, my, my, my. Like how the did, you know what I mean? Like, like people don't understand what happened that night. And that's because Jay-Z worked so f***ing hard to change the narrative of that night. She also confirmed that Jay-Z had allegedly been intimate with Rihanna when she was younger. Even more, she alleged that Rihanna's team had allegedly set her up with Chris Brown to take attention away from the thing she had going on with Jay-Z. Rihanna was only 14, 15 when he started f***ing with her and signed to the Def Jam. It's clear to say that the herpes that she had came from the person she had been most involved with, and that was Sean Carter. So here it is. Chris Brown has his first herpes outbreak from a celebrity girlfriend who he was set up with, and it was supposed to be this, and it was supposed to be that, and he was there so people wouldn't pay attention to the fact that she was f***ing Jay-Z underage. Jaguar had more to say because she claimed that Chris Brown had caught Rihanna red-handed doing some NSFW things at Clive Davis's party. Jay-Z gave her the herpes that she gave to Chris Brown. And that first night when he had that outbreak and he bust into Clive Davis's house and said, where the f is this dirty bitch at? I can't, I can't fault him for that. He had this, this is beautiful. Oh, wonderful. Chris Brown, she didn't ruin him. She ruined him at 19 years old. He's got the Jay-Z herpes. And Rihanna ain't innocent. Because she was in there giving that in the coat closet when, when Chris Brown came and he said, she always sucking something. Even more, she accused Jay-Z and his team of setting Chris up to take the fall for it by spreading fake reports in the media. And then they sat there and Jay-Z and them get on the radio and they talk about that little fucking boy. And then they put together that whole fucking sham and then have him arrested on the red fucking carpet just to make sure America fucking hated him. Defending himself against that crazy I mean, she's sexy as shit and she's pure and she has all of my respect when it comes to the game. Ooh. But you ruined Chris Brown's life and you knew you ruined his life and the only reason you did it was because your Jay-Z told you to. 
so that he could cover up the fact that he started f***ing you at 14 when he was damn near 30 years old. Child, this is an insane story and explains why Chris gets so upset and defensive every time the story gets brought up. Because not only did he allegedly get herpes, but they also went over and beyond to ruin his career just to mess with him. These new revelations have people on Chris Brown's side and they left comments like, remember as part of Chris Brown's sentencing, he was forbidden to talk about what happened and the only reason for that was to protect Rihanna. If he's the only one guilty, why couldn't he talk about it? It was a dead giveaway she wasn't innocent. Remember how Wendy said if you sleep with Rihanna, you gotta take penicillin after that? Y'all were mad. And Chris is talented and I hope he stays away from these evil people. Girl, this is one hot mess. But do y'all believe Chris Brown's side of the story? Or do you think that he's just trying to make himself look good after so many years? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Then check out this next video.